One, a really quick disclaimer. Um, the app that you're seeing on the screen right now is the one that I'm using to keep my servers running and to monitor that they are working. Um, it is free and I'm going to leave a little link down in the description. Um, it is really smart. You get a notification if your server goes offline. All right. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to look at how to install multiple story nodes on your computer. The first thing you want to do is head over to the website for the GIO install. GUI installed in Windows and the story documents. You can have a look here and you need to do these steps before you can go ahead and install your um, first node. You need to set up your first node with the official installation and then you can use a toolbox afterwards. So you're going to download the installer right here, which I'm going to do. Now keep in mind the storage node I'm going to set up is just for testing purposes. It's not one that I'm actually going to run. Um, at least not uh, both of them, but I am doing this just to demonstrate you, to you guys how you can do this. Open the installer, uh, follow through, accept the agreement, press next, find the installation folder where you want to put it in. I'm going to choose one that I know of and I want to use. Um, find your identity. This is where you put your identity for a storage node that you hopefully created earlier. Uh, mine is on the hard drive itself. Now pick your um, email address. This is an email address that's used for getting information about your node. For example, if it crashes, now enter your IP and your port number. And this is my IP and I'm going to use port 29,000. You can use any port you like, but this is just one that I have chosen and that is available to me. Now you want to find your storage folder. I have that also on my hard drive. I made a folder just called data. This is where I'm storing my data. Choose your terabyte amount. Mine is going to be five because my disk is uh, five terabytes. I made it too big um, because you need a buffer. So please extract 10%. That's why I'm changing it from 5.5 to five. Then press install. Let it run through. Please keep in mind, guys, if you have any problems or questions, you can always uh, put them in the comments down below. All right, please press yes on this box. The installation will begin and then press finish to open your dashboard. And just like so, you can see that the dashboard is now showing that the node is running and we should be able to see that we're getting some data. Um, it's going to go slow, but hey, you're going to get some data and it's now up and running. So for the second one, you want to download this tool that I linked here. I'm going to put the link in the description below. Um, this is made by a community member and it's very useful if you want multiple storage nodes. Now go ahead and download it and then open the uh, storage node toolbox. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and make sure that I have my identity and my data folder on the disk. That was what I was doing there. Now let's go ahead and open the story node toolbox. As you can see, I have my storage node identity and the data folder right there. And now the toolbox is open and you can go ahead and press on the search nodes. This will find your first node that you already installed with the official MSI installer. Now we need to go ahead and fill out some of these blanks. So you get your identity. This is what I made sure I had in my uh, hard drive before. Mine is located there. You press your identity.cert file. It's important that you find your .cert file and you press open. And then that's your path. Enter your storage amount. Remember, withdraw 10% yet again. Then enter your storage database directory. This is where storage will actually be located. Now you can go ahead and enter your IP and your port.
Mine is located right here. I can use the one same IP I used before, but this time I'm going to go one step above with the port. So instead of 29,000, it's going to be 29,001. Now you can go ahead and open your um, initial uh, storage node that you have uh, set up. In here you can find your actual um, config file and in this config file it is possible to find the um, information that you gave in the MSI installer. Now I'm going to set the storage path that's going to be the exact same as the database directory. Then I'm going to add the private address. I'm going to make it um, as it is, but you can go up as you use the uh, ports. You can just uh, continue to increase that number. I'm going to enter just an email. It's just for testing purposes. This is not my own email, simply because this node is probably not going to stay, stay live, but this is just for demonstration purposes. Now you can enter your wallet. Yes, again, you can retrieve this wallet from your config that I'm opening here. Um, so that you have the same wallet for both of your nodes. My wallet is located right there. So I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to put it into the uh, toolbox. Now I'm pressing install and then there's going to come an error here. And uh, I'm going to show you how to fix this. All right, so it showed up with an error. And I'm not sure if um, our sweet Vadim, Vadim who has created this toolbox um, is aware of this error, but I was able to fix it uh, quite easily. And I will show you the steps I have taken uh, right now. So going into the toolbox folder, I first saw that there was something called storage node and storage node.exe. So I went ahead and went to uh, rename that. Here I am yet again, just reading the error. Sorry that this error is in Danish, but the PC I'm working on is set up in Danish. But essentially it's saying that this storage node.exe already exists. So I'm trying to, in my head, come up with why this error is happening. So what I did was go ahead and rename it. Just call it something arbitrary, something that wasn't necessarily going to be recognized by the program. After I did that, I still found the problem. And that was because of the uh, exe uh, file itself, not the actual uh, zip folder. So I went ahead and renamed that one as well, as you can see here in a minute. So renaming that program exe file to something else, just calling it storage node one and deleting the um, zip file that was created. After doing this, I ran the VS Redist 64 because this was not installed in my system. You can do that as well. It's included in the uh, storage um, node toolbox uh, folder that you downloaded from the website. Go ahead and install this to make sure that the program can run flawlessly on your system. All right, so that setup has now been successful. We can go ahead and press install in the node toolbox again.
So I went ahead and pressed install. It ran the installation. It can take a while to just press once. It's now telling me that installation is complete. And I can now see in my note list that there is two nodes and we should be able to go ahead and open the dashboard of that node. And we should be able to see that this is working. Now you can delete these two files I was renaming and stuff. You can proceed these steps to add a third, fourth, fifth or sixth node. You can essentially keep going. So as you can see here, the second node is running. It's online. Everything seems OK and there is no problem with it. It will now start to um, add data. Now, remember to install the VC redirect so that it's in your directory. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this was uh, just a quick tutorial uh, that I wanted to do uh, on behalf of the community because I've been asked to. I'm going to upload it to YouTube and it's going to stay there so that you can have this tutorial further on. Thank you and bye.